What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. You can clearly see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. Do, do newscasters really have to say that this is not a movie? Have we come to that? This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. Chicken Little we warned us. That the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Hmm. Transfer student from beyond the grave. Grave the beat from beyond. Transfer student. It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. And awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Come on, man. What the heck is this? Mm. It's like Weapon Warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Maki is the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the motive video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Yoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her motive video. And because you saw that. Hmm? Hmm? I knew the whole time. Given my position, I'd obviously know before any of you, right? Huh? Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway. Her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because <laughs> assassins hide to do all their killing! If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone! It can't be! Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings. Let alone a girl's heart. How rude! Please take back what you just said. I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please, give me data. Please! Right? If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her. But what about next time? Thus let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer. That is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. <sighs> I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? Huh? B but Got it! I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Uh, wait, you don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak a sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. Um. Sneak attack? Strike before she does? Should an Aikido master be saying those things? It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Atu and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my mouth. Wow, if that kind of peppy chair magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <sighs> I hold him assassin my ass. Always messing around. Assassin? <laughs> huh? Kaito, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Okay, let's leave everything to Kaito. You get it? Gonta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? 
Oh, yeah. Sorry. Come on, man. Hey, Gonta, like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. But Monokuma? Everyone, get behind Gonta! Kimiko, get behind me! I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. I just said I don't need your usual reactions! It's almost half time, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize! Hey! I said, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize! Oh? Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming. That's strange. And shine, er, sign. Yay! They're finally here! Yay! You're so cute today, it's practically obscene! Seriously? Just, wow, you guys are seriously cute! Have you always been this cute? <laughs> ah, the shock of my super cute kids seems to be making me go bald! Like, it catches. He's actually balding? Oh, gross! Oh, I'm very... I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Can you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold. I can't sustain it. Hurry. I want to go somewhere warm. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? We... Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Huh? So then... From now on, I will be calling the shots. Yeah. Oh, good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. That's old. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long, you've become predictable. It's the age of the monocups now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? What? But what about all the longtime fans who... Anyway, your Chista has been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tan? A husband? Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such? You were saying. <coughs> Did you forget, Father? Only we can pilot the Exosol. What? Really? How could you forget that? Thank you, Father. But the Academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, Father. No way! Are you saying that treating you kids like my property was wrong? You're the worst of the worst. It's completely and utterly wrong. No. 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 No, 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 no way! Yeah, he's bald again. It seems the shock made him bald. This time, for good. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards Thanks for bearing with us. a wonderful prize. Hmm. Um, let's see what the prize is this time. Right now, you're on the threshold of the major. We're giving away a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll on the prize bundle. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. I mean, bravo! Bravo! We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. He is all that remains of a once powerful yoga. Hmm? I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh, man. Oh, man. We didn't need more junk. 
We had way too much anyway. And its name is Kibo. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. Let's get along. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Actually, also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. Farewell! Jeez, those Mono Cubs, those Cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it, I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I'll commit that to my memory. I've recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so... so what are we going to do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but... Yay! A new area means we can all have lots more fun. Uh, I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school's secret. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with Murder Girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro, I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, okay. okay. Got it. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. Hmm, all that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? Um, let's just leave him here. Uh, I suppose I should go try out these items around the school like last time. So this is her lab. It's like a little red riding hood here. All right. I'm just gonna leave those two here. I don't care. door collapsed. It looks like we can get to the back now. What I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us? Huh? You think? <laughs> Nearly a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. A world full of jests? I suppose that's true. A staircase. We can get to the fourth floor now. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry. Gonta will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Um. Hmm. Tuxedo's essential for gentlemen, but masks too. Well. I should go. Oh, now the little icon's not a little baby anymore. It's a gun. On uh, Maki's lab. Uh. The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um. What is going on in here? Actually, so, um, this is a made-up story. But a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop! If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone! Um... Oh, but she say it made up story. So that mean it okay, right? So long, farewell! What was the story? Made up or not, I want to hear it. Alright. This is like ancient. What are these? Left room. Momosuke? Candles just barely light a dim, dusty room. Hmm. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. 
there's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is going to pop out at you. I thought I saw a monosuke. Okay. Guess I'll take a look around more. Um, Even though I said all that, it seems like something is going to jump out after all. This feels like one of those old abandoned asylums full of lunatics or criminals. To the point that I'd half expect to see a corpse burst through a wall and chase us. Sorry. Sorry. That's not something to joke about. Nothing here. What this room for, anyway? The candles on the walls are the only light in the room. There are no windows here. It gets pitch black if candles go out. Right? Oh, please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. Well, I can't imagine many people do. Fine. Ugh. Floor? These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh! Oh! This floorboard got no nails in it! Huh? Uh, really? Hmm. Yeah! Floorboard just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. But... But each floorboard is thick and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. Going to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But... But it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. It doesn't look like there's anything important here, it's just an empty room. Oh, oh this not only empty room. You see three same looking doors in the hall, right? All those rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light, too. Ah, so there are three of them. Anyway, we no gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. You're right. True. Um... Then can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown in. Well... But there are no windows, though. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. Alright. I'm gonna check the other rooms, even though I don't think there's- even though they're basically saying there's nothing else in them. I saw Monosuke, so I wonder if I'll see Monokid. Monokuma! I see, this is exactly like the other room. I wonder if that's random or not. Okay, this one should have Monokid. Yeah, there he is. So, does that mean that we won't. There's not gonna be any others killed? What the? It's a painting? Oh, it looks like it's 3D though. That is weird. I bet that's like a secret door or something. I'll go in that room in a moment. Okay. I think there's like a Japanese horror story about that. What is this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. Huh. Uh, we'll go in there in just a moment. I just want to check here. You know, for any hidden monokumas. Locked. I suppose I can't get in here. 
and try the other door. It's the door to an ultimate lab. From the look of it, I'd say it's for art. I should investigate a little. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Hmm. Huh, it's locked? Yup, seems like it. I guess we can't go in. Hmm. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lock has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. But that was locked too. Uh, um... If both the doors are locked, how are we going to get inside? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret technique. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening. And the door slowly opened. Yaha! Yaha! Can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in here? Hey, hey! I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? How pushy. Come in, come in! Please, come in! Ever polite, Angie invited us into the lab anyway. There are various art and carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist lab. Hmm. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? Ah, mama cubs. Leave it to me. I will answer that. With my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second. We said I was going to answer that question. Eh? No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? <laughs> you promised. Because I don't remember you not promising. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt, then shove it in your mouth, and rattle your molars around. Wait, Monodon, we weren't fighting. We were just messing around. You know, because we're friends. It's fine. It's fine. As long as you're getting along. So? So what's up with the key? Actually, oh yes. Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. I must shut up all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. Nyahaha! <laughs> <laughs> Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Hmm. Wow, like a porn star. Eh? Oh, it's the opposite. And then? So any room where I'm going to make art needs to have a key. But I'm surprised the Lono Cubs knew that. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Um... Uh, um what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. C calm down. I'm even worse. Because we know everything about you, bastards. We are be all friends. Because we want to be your friends. I don't, like don't want to be friends with you. Right I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Why? Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I cannot forgive. I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Hmm. No, no, Monodon. We haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then. Let me see that key. One of them swiped the key from Monophony, then lifted it to his mouth. Um, nom. Nom. <gasps> he hit it! Gulp. 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 Ah. ah! He swallowed it! Beep. 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 <gasps> He's flatlining! Uh-oh. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Because. Someone might use this key. 
for murder because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. Let's get along. I want everyone to get along. Phew. Oh, Monodon, you're so reckless. Oh. Let's carry Monodon away for now. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. So long, farewell. All right. So, currently we can't lock this room. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh, but I'm only gonna lock this door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Ah. Oh, I guess that's fine then. By the, way. By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So does that mean this school was specially made for us? But... Monokuma has claimed that before. But is that really possible? This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us. Only Atua knows for sure. It's a, mi it's a miraculous mystery that only Atua knows. But it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> That's true! Are we supposed to be okay with that? Okay, I need to look around a bit more. This door isn't the one we used to come in. This door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? It's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. If I remember correctly. Uh, right. And the door that we used. Yeah. Yeah, that door has a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, 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 no it's perfect that they're not the same. Uh... Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. And then? But I think symmetry is part and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. Okay, asymmetry is part of uh, WA, which is one of the, some of the four concepts of harmony. Um, I, can't, I don't remember all of them. Asymmetry is one, and permanence is the other. And the other two, I just don't remember at all. Oh god, it's been so long. I mean, that's part of what why bonsai trees are never symmetrical. The, the asymmetry is what's perfect about it. I see, I see. There is an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies here. Yeah. Sculpting tools, chisels, and a wooden hammer. What a divine collection of tools. These are all my favorites, so I can make do even if I don't have access to deep sea. Uh, um. Now that you mention it, I don't see any completed pieces in here. I would expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that. Uh. I don't need references when Abdu is the one who creates the art. So From now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Abdu. Okay, you do you, girl. Lump of wax. What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Hmm. Uh, wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yeah, yeah. Unlike wood or stone, Wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Oh, but Atua is the one who's gonna be doing the sculpting. Okay. Ah, I see. But, but... But, but it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. A wax death mask? That's kind of scary. I can't stay long. I still haven't found the flashback light. I have other places to check. Alright, so I guess that's all we need to look for in here. So, while I, I have the time, I want to say I am going to apologize in advance for the videos getting longer. That's just how I want to kind of get as much fit into one video as possible. Um, but yeah, as the game goes on, the investigation and the class trials, they get longer.
I still think like there's going to be hidden monokuma there, so that's why I'm doing that. It's just kind of looking. Okay, I wonder if this is uh, Kodakiyo's lab. This must be a door to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. I should look inside. Yeah, Kodakiyo's. Wow, it looks like a Japanese museum. It's almost like a museum or library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. It would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist's lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? That's... Incredible. Can it be? I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Kyo, quivered with ex quivering with excitement, reached out to that peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can this be? Oh, there's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, perfect? Um... For what? What are the statue and cage for? I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. There's something in this case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. It's rested in places but looks about a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. <laughs> you are drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Ah, so it's not made of gold. Well. That said, that katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars are worshipped as gods. This is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I want to take a look-see. Kokichi, what are you doing? Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. <laughs> Wait, you mustn't touch it without... Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed the sword. Now this katana is the real deal. It's even gold-plated for that authentic look. Yeah. Hmm, let's see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly or... Tear out your nerves. Please don't... Uh, okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Kokichi slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa! Oh, my hands are all sticky. That gold plating flakes off so easily. I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh, dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. I'll tear out your nerves. If you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Oh, I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Kyo sounds like when he gets angry. It doesn't really sound special, but there you go. There's a book in the display case. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible! It is! How amazing! It's actually real! Um, what is that book, Kyo? 
Uh, it is can this be? an extremely precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. The Cage Dog Village? Yes. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. One-of-a-kind? That is valuable. I see. Yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... uh, Kyo, oh, what did you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire caged dog village. But it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. It feels though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I find most interesting is a seance called the Caged Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough but to actually have it before me. You see. So, would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. Uh, yes, but talking to the dead. Say. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead. If it were possible, I suppose I'd like to talk to her once more. No. No. No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is, we escaped. We finally got out of here. That determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me. One must I call on them myself. only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Alright, let's explore more. There are fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful. Just like me. Hmm. Oh, really? How rude. Huh. Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this. But Himi this is Himiko when she's mad. No. No, I was just blushing. Huh? What? From your own compliment? But... Kimiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. That's the only reason you don't do it? Okay, girl.
Huh? A, a building? What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow! Hi -ya! It's not just any building, it's a dojo! So it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right. Like, I wouldn't care if a chef came by car or train, as long as they made me good food. Is that really the same? Looks like she headed over there. It must be an ultimate research lab. And from the look of the building... The it's the ultimate Aikido Master's lab! I'm sure of it! Well. Alright, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Humiko. Ladies first. What a pain. What a pain. Pushing Himiko along, Tenko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose they should check inside too. Oh wow. It's impressive. Wow, this is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. Hey, you shouldn't be wearing your shoes on the tatami mats. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood. Oh, wait. Is it a doll? Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. There's a scaffold suspended in the air with chains. Is this for some kind of jump training? It's like a kung fu movie. Damn it! See? This is my lab, you jerk! Why, w why are you angry? Wow. I'm so happy, I just can't contain my emotions! Like an excited dog that just pees everywhere! An emotional roller coaster. Complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing! Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring will be incredible here. But, but without a sparring partner. <laughs> what was that for? Oh, wow! Oh, oh. Why are you throwing me? Neo Aikido is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. Huh? You're going to start with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. This is just kidding? Why do we go straight into actual fighting? Got it. You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. You lack mm -hmm. self esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself. Right! Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Uh, okay. You might be right. Listen up! You know what works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Aikido! Because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko! So how about you, Himiko? Mm -hmm. Yeah? If we combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'd be able to solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. Uh, I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... I see. It seems you're still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all. That's right. You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Now, come sweat with me. And afterward, we'll hit the showers together. Mm, my right back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Oh, you're angry. I can see it in your heart. Uh, Even okay. I can see that. Okay, there's still more. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry. <sighs> is this a pillar? Why is there a pillar here? Uh, 
my back hurts. If you do that again, I'll definitely turn you into a gross frog. But right now, I have to use all my magic to fix my back. Alright, we'll go. And I don't know where to use the hammer, but I will find it. Hmm? What's that over there? Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. No, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. I won't make things worse. And you'll probably feel a lot better. We can take this relationship to the next level. Please. Just the tip? What? But Neo, we shouldn't. It will be fine. Just come with me. We'll do it together. Pulling on Kiba's arm, Neo made her way to the ultimate inventor's lab. Uh, um... What was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on. Just in case. Careful not to make a sound, I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Man, you're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. <sighs> throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must be so pent up. I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll feel much better afterwards. Oh, um, thank you? Oh, yeah, your chassis is firm. Really firm. Like, damn. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. Careful, be gentle. That tickles. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might. Oh! <laughs> So that's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. I closed the door without a word. Oh my god. Ugh. Mia was just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed. Nothing but that. that probably exactly what it was. She's just a big perv. Is it just me, or, or is this game like, what, like they ramped up everything? Um, the brutal deaths and the fan, the fan service is straight up sexualization, to be quite honest. I'm not saying the other games weren't like that, I mean, they were, but it was much more toned down, I thought. you doing here? Monokuma stared at me in silence and disappeared down the hallway. Uh, I suppose um. he wants me to follow him. What could be down there? Monokuma is glancing back and forth at me and the picture on the wall. Uh, um... Hmm? This picture? Huh? I see. It's not a canvas. It's a pane of glass. Hmm. Perhaps... 
Maybe I should use that item I haven't used yet on this. All right. All right, it's worth a try. I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. I knew it. Just as I thought. There's a hidden passageway here. I don't know what he's up to, but this did really help us out. The passageway looked different than the haunted house. More like a factory. This is eerie in a different way. Oh, is this Kibo's ultimate lab? Xbox. It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this... You bastards. You've come this far. That means you solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent. Teamwork. Yeah. Eh? What teamwork? It's just Shuichi. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. So let's just play along. I won't put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? Oh yes, we should explain this room. So this is the computer room. Computer room? But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is, like, super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing, you can even use it to create a new world. A new world? Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Hmm? Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Huh. You totally said way too much. Sorry. Oh, I knew it. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. So sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monophony? Huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? So why didn't you? I cannot forgive that. Your friends, right? So why didn't you help him? Um, well, um... If you can't get along, you will be punished. You too, Monotaro. Friends share everything, even punishments. Yeah. What? Backfire! So long, farewell! This machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? But... I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. I'll investigate around here a little more. Aha! Ah, a treasure chest! I opened the chest eagerly and... I found one, a flashback light. With this, I can find out what this place is, why we're here. <laughs> oh, you found the flashback light! Wow, you're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. He chatted away, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left, waving goodbye.
Really? Shuichi, is it true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yes, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kukichi wasn't lying. I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Thanks. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing too, because I don't want my pants on fire. I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito isn't here yet. Ah. Maki's not here either. Ah. Oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? huh? You didn't invite her? Hey, hey. Forget about that killer. Hey, Mew, Keyboy, did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry, I'm not very computer savvy. What? Uh, oh, is that so? Uh, that's unexpected. <laughs> I have been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent exactly? Well, well I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I do say so myself. Don't worry. K-Boy's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not I just told you I'm good at one-man comedy shows. Hmm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? <laughs> but I'm not going to come just for some computer. It's going to take way more than that. Uh, uh um... well, the monocups did say it was amazing. Yo! Hey, thanks for waiting. Oh. Kaito, and... Huh? Well, Maki? Why is Maki with you? Of course! Well, this is about that flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? <laughs> but when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. Come on, man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kaito gripped Maki's arm before she could leave. By the way... Kaito, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so... I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um... Um, is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. Really? But... Why you hide that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? What? Because... When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... That's not... What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Always? Mm. Mm, you li you've lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's oh, so poor, mean. poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life is no value to you now, is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to... Hey, hey can you let go of me now? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Uh, oh. Kaito finally let go of her arm, and Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret, and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. How annoying. But someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? Huh? Are you talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you. Unless one of you tries to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... So, you guys mind your business. I'll mind mine. And we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Maki. It started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so Jeez, dumb. Kaito. What were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you. Right, guys? No. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that, but... Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback light, yes? Everyone! Yes. 
So, have we all decided what we're going to do? Snake attack! Use it, of course! We might be able to remember something new! Like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit! Of course it's got something to do with why! Hey! Hey, instead of arguing, it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? You're right! Yeah, going to worry, but we gotta do it. But, but... But, but... Uh, no matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, if you come think on. like that, uh -oh. we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding uh, I know that! And we can't go around repeating ourselves! We must do it. Then let's give it a try. Shuichi, go for it. Uh, um, I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me, and I flicked on the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, the world warped. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. What's that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Why? Why was I at my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? I see. It would appear we all remembered the same thing. The fuck's but what on? the fuck does it mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? Why? Well, what the hell is going on? What was the funeral? But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing else. No way. Maybe we already dead? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Jeez, this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then Then what was it? I mean It was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival? That's right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play we did for the school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? Of course! If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. Uh, that's true. Um, but aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's... that's uh, we'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistaking that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Going to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about Stop it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me, I'm alive. Hail and hearty. Ah! Hardy? Because you get a hard on every time you see me? Oh, yeah. Oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? What? Hey, st stay in your lane, bitch. Oh. I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. Oh man, what a disappointment. Huh? A disappointment? Yeah, it's true. This flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Talk about a disappointment. -uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. Oh no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again. So don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw. It can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms.
I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint. That would help, but... I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out, clear my head. All right, I'm gonna end it here. It's been going on quite long. As I said, they're gonna get these videos are gonna get long. I apologize for that. Usually, long videos aren't great for views and stuff, but at the same time, it's just a way of organization I like. All right, well, that's the start of chapter three. Let's see what uh, developments come up. Thanks for watching.